Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And finally, I got my hands on the Pringles, the Baconator Wendy's Pringles. Um, been looking all over for these. I have to thank my neighbor, Joe. Uh, he was at Publix yesterday and found them for me. So thank you, Joe. All right, so I have never had a Baconator, so I'm at Wendy's, and I ordered... I didn't order the Baconator. I ordered the son of Baconator. So same thing. This is a quarter pound of meat where the, um, the Baconator is a half a pound of meat. So, all right. So let's open these up. If it smells like, no. All right. They just look like plain Pringles. I'm going to try the burger first. So if you're not familiar with the Baconator, it's two patties, cheese, bacon, mayo, and ketchup. Mm. All right, it's like a bacon cheeseburger. Okay, so I'm not sure what kind of flavor to expect. I'm kind of thinking bacon, maybe um, maybe ketchup, because I've had ketchup chips before, but I don't know. It's like I really try to concentrate to pick up on the flavors, but. Mm. I'm just littered. Big pet peeve is littering. I don't even know what I taste. I really don't. I know it's a Pringle. I was really expecting a bacon flavor and I don't get a bacon flavor at all. It's like, did they put the wrong Pringles in this can? Seriously, it doesn't taste like there's no distinct flavor coming through. There's something wrong with my taste buds because like, I haven't watched any other reviews, so I'm curious to watch other reviews now and see if I'm just like crazy or something. Maybe a hint of a meat flavor, but no, no. All right, so I had to call my neighbor and uh, my neighbor Karen and her husband Joe, the one who got these for me and see what they thought. She said that it smells like vinegar, which I think that's the ketchup, and that's kinda, I get that smell. She thinks it has a slight bacon flavor. I don't get that at all. And Joe said, uh, barbecue. I don't get that at all, I mean, you can see. A little coloring on it. Serious, I'm not. Maybe I get the ketchup a little, but this is a stretch. I'm really, I'm really trying hard here. I'm really not sure where Karen's getting the bacon because I don't get that at all. Um, because I was almost expecting a bacon flavor like um, um, the fake bacon bits, which I'm glad it doesn't have that flavor because that tastes fake to me. But, I don't know, some of me, a part of me thinks, I mean, if that's what you taste, that's what you taste. But I think that if you were just to taste these, not knowing what kind of Pringles they were, I don't know if you would even think about bacon. I don't know. I don't know. That was, um, I just needed to get someone else's opinion. See if I'm going crazy. I'm not losing my taste buds because I can taste this just fine. So, and now I know you really can't make a chip taste like a burger, but I was expecting more of like even a bacon flavor, like I said. All right, I'm just giving them a thumbs down because I don't, it's my two cents. I know some people, I've had comments that people think, you know, how dare you, it tastes exactly like that, but no, 
for me personally, just my two cents, I don't get the, I don't get it at all. No, no, no. Thumbs down for me. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, Pringles, but no. So, but if you've tried it, please let me know in the comments below what it tasted like to you. And that brings me to the riddle of the day. What is one question you can never answer yes to? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a great day. And I will see you next time.